Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in Istanbul, Turkey. In today's episode, I'm going to be taking you for a unique food tour of Istanbul. We're going to be popping into a factory to see how traditional Turkish delights are made and tasting some authentic Istanbul street food. I'm partnering up with buyinturkey.com to show you some of the foods that you can actually buy on their website to have shipped to your house and taste the foods that you're seeing me eat in this video. So if you see something in this video, you can actually taste it for the first time. So it's super exciting. It's gonna be a great episode, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some Turkish food. First stop today here in Istanbul is at Etham Efendi. So they are serving kavalti, which is a traditional Turkish breakfast. And they actually make most of their products that they serve with breakfast. So I'm gonna go inside, have a traditional Turkish breakfast today. This is a beautiful restaurant. It's really big. There's a lot of different areas to sit and uh, really nice decorations. And this woman right here is just preparing gozleme, which is like a Turkish flat bread. Uh, sometimes you can get it stuck with different things. I think we're gonna try it one of the gozleme, but uh, as you may or may not know, Turkish breakfast comes with an array, a plethora of different things to try. Turkish breakfast is not complete without at least a cup of chai, tea, or a cup of Turkish coffee. I went with both today, actually. Wow, look at this. This is just the beginning. This is what I love about Turkey. Do you want it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Guys, this is absolutely insane. I have an incredible spread of breakfast here, Turkish breakfast, and I'm so excited to share this with you because a lot of these things you can actually buy for yourself and taste for yourself for the first time on Chopstick Travel. Uh, you can actually taste the foods that I'm tasting on buyinturkey.com. But let me introduce everything I've got here. I don't even know where to start. Let's start right here. This is the famous menemen. So it's like a scrambled eggs with tomatoes and this is vacuum sealed and shipped uh, to your home on buyinturkey.com. Then we have tons of different little things here in the middle. There's this milk jam, uh, dried mulberries, uh, butter from Trabs on the north of Turkey. This is a sour cherry jam a pumpkin jam. Over here I've got a uh, tahini, like a sesame paste. This is yogurt with some nice olive oil there. Bal kaimak, the kaimak uh, cream, my favorite, with honey. And then some black olives back here. And I've got this, which I've actually never tried before. This is a famous dish in the north of Turkey. This one, unfortunately, is not available because they need to cook it. So you'd have to come to Turkey to try it. But basically, it's cornmeal and cheese. And just look at that. Look at this. Look at that. That is absolutely crazy. There's no way I'm going to be able to eat that much cheese. Another beautiful cheese with mulberry jam on top. This is uh, another cheese. I think this is an unsalted cheese with some herbs in it. Back here is like a tomato and pepper paste uh, with some crushed walnuts on top. We've got two more jams back here, all available for purchase. This is a chili jam, which is really unique, and then a spiced cinnamon carrot jam. Fruit here, oranges, and also some vegetables, some cucumbers. All these cheeses, which you can get vacuum sealed, shipped to you. And then look at the size of that tomato. That's the biggest tomato I've ever seen, hands down for sure. Organic tomatoes, and then some uh, green peppers on top. Let's dig in. Let me just start with a cheese here, move this dill. And this cheese underneath is my favorite. It's like a string cheese. Mm. Mm. Very mild, not a strong cheese at all. And very fresh tasting. Some fresh bread, kind of shaped like a donut here, but it's not sweet. Oh, very, very hot. Feels like it's been fried too. And I'm gonna try this with some of this beautiful cheese and mulberry. Look at that. Such an amazing spread. Mm. 
The cheese has a nice tartness and then it's balanced with that sweet mulberry jam. It goes really good with that bread too. Oh man, that cheese is incredible. It's like a cottage cheese, but a little bit thicker and creamier. Turkish olives, in my opinion, best olives in the world. And I love these green olives. Get them shipped right to your house. You can have fresh olives with your breakfast. Mm. Even this bread you can get ordered to your house and this chili jam is something really unique that I've never tried before. This bread is called Bozlema, it's a nice thick bread. Let me try some of this. I don't know if it's gonna be spicy or what. Mm. Mm. There's no spice, but it's got that really strong, chili, smoky flavor to it. Mm. And that bread is so fresh and good. Mm. I could eat that by itself. Okay, this tomato is absolutely massive. Look at the size of that compared to my head. It's almost the size of my face. <laughs> it's the biggest tomato I've ever seen. And I don't know if this is the right way of doing this, but I'm gonna take a little bit of yogurt and put it on my tomato. <laughs> like a hamburger patty. Wow, that is a juicy tomato. A nice sour yogurt too. Look at that, huge. Biggest tomato I've ever seen. Oh my God. So, so they've reheated up the uh, cheese from the northern part of Turkey, Trabzon cheese, and like I said, mixed with cornmeal, so you get this crazy texture. They reheated it for me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's try this famous cheese out. I don't even know. How am I only gonna try a little bit of this? <laughs> How do you put a little bit of this on? It's so stringy. Okay, there we go. Oh, I think it's gonna be hot. actually not overpowering. It's not like a super salty cheese. It actually tastes really light somehow. But the texture is like every cheese lover's dream. It's so stringy. Just look at this. I love it. It's all about that texture. Oh man. <laughs> that is insane. You can't have only a little bit of this. You have to have a lot. There is just too many things to introduce everything. Here is the gozleme, it's cheese and spinach inside of this one, the flatbread. Just wow, so many different things. A little dried mulberries. You can just sit here and munch all day long. It's unlimited, so they'll keep bringing it. Mm. Oh, there's cheese in there. That's good. Wow, what a breakfast. That was seriously one of the best Turkish breakfasts I've ever had. Really high quality uh, organic ingredients. Finished off with breakfast and I've come to check out one of the partners of Bayan Turkey that supplies them with fresh organic honey. Some of the best honey in the world here in Turkey. So I'm gonna go inside, check out this uh, honey shop and uh, probably taste some too. So they have all kinds of different honeys. You can just see the different colors and consistencies of the honey and they come from all across Turkey, but they also have different products too, like facial cream, soap. Uh, even I saw some honey vinegar, which I've never heard of before. And they've just given me this one here to try. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a honey tasting. This is called the black edition uh, black honey. Let me try that. Mm. Mm. It almost has like a licorice flavor. Really, really rich, thick honey. So this is another one of their award-winning honeys. Completely different color than that black honey. This is the golden honey and it feels like the consistency looks uh, a lot thinner than the last one. Try that. Mm. That one's fruitier. Completely different flavor. That's insane. Honeys can taste so much different. Next one is uh, castane, which is chestnut. So chestnut honey. Um, never tried that before. Let me try it out. A little bit. It's kind of like in between two colors. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's totally different. We still get that sweetness, that thick richness, but that one's almost got like a slight bitterness. Super friendly folks here and such a unique set of products that you can make using just honey and bee products. So now I'm heading to a factory to see how they make uh, some of Turkey's most famous sweets. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm here at Jaffer Errol factory where they're producing all kinds of different Turkish sweets, but in particular lokum or Turkish delight, one of the most famous, besides baklava, one of the most famous uh, desserts of all the Turkish desserts. And Jaffer Errol is a very famous brand that goes back many, many years. And we're seeing how they make the lokum. So here they've got a huge machine that's uh, churning cornstarch and uh, sugar. It's basically just a syrupy mixture, sweet mixture. And then he takes a huge uh, couple bucketfuls of pistachio and then pours it right in there and mixes it with the pistachio. There's all kinds of different flavors of locum, like hundreds of different flavors, but uh, we're seeing how they make the pistachio filled ones and uh, really cool to be inside the factory here and see how it's done here at Jaffer Errol. This flavor here is pistachios and pomegranate. So it has this really rich red color from the pomegranate. You can smell the fruity flavor. So the pomegranate pistachio locum is finished. He's just poured it into this tray that's got a bunch of powdered sugar to help it not really stick to the tray. And then this is just sat in the room for 24 hours until it's kind of solidified and hardened. And then it'll be cut into uh, individual little pieces of locum. So pretty easy process, but really cool. Really unique to see how it's done here in the factory. They have around 30 different flavors here at Jaffer Errol, and this is holding all the locum that's been cooled for 24 hours. So you can see a couple different flavors. This one here is orange. Uh, this one is just plain locum. Uh, this is the pomegranate, red color, and then down in the bottom, the green, that is mint. The final step before packaging it up to be sold in the shops or sent around the world or sent to your home if you buy it on buyinturkey.com uh, is to cut the locum into tiny little squares. So we just watched him cut it up. He's offered me a uh, taste. So you can see this beautiful red color. This is rose flavor. I think this is about as fresh as locum gets. Mm. Yeah, you can see that bouncy texture. Mm. It's sweet. A nice floral rose, like rose water flavor. Mm. Yeah, that's better. When it's fresh like that, it's so good. <laughs> they give me another flavor to try. This is uh, pistachio, plain pistachio. There's full pistachios in there. Mm. Oh, it's completely different. Crunchy pistachio flavor. Pistachios here in Turkey are just extremely high quality. It's interesting because it's like gummy and chewy and then crunchy pistachio at the same time. Good. So these are their exclusive uh, locum, the final product in this beautiful packaging. There's all kinds of different flavors with pistachios, cranberries, uh, rose, uh, mint, all kinds of different things. It's just such a beautiful presentation. What a opportunity to try the fresh locum like that.
Besides the Lokum Jaffer era also produces all kinds of different Turkish delicacies. One of the things uh, they're making here today is hard candy. They're making it the traditional way. It's cooked in these copper pots, so uh, sugar boiling away. We're waiting for it to get exactly 165 degrees, and then they're gonna pour it onto these uh, marble countertops. So this is a really ancient uh, Turkish sweet, and it's still done here at Jaffer Errol in the traditional way with the copper and the marble, but in a modern factory setting. Okay. So after the sugar mixture cools on the marble countertop, it gets this really unique uh, texture, like a taffy-like texture, and they transferred it over to this other marble table, and then they add the flavor. For this one, they're doing a lemon flavor, so they actually add a bunch of salt, lemon salt, and then uh, natural lemon concentrate, and then now he's kind of kneading it and working it, getting all that flavor mixed in, and it's slowly starting to cool on this marble uh, countertop at the same time. So they just started pulling and stretching that sugar mixture and you can see it right away starting to change color, getting a lot whiter and I can smell that lemon. I don't know how this always happens but anytime I'm in this kind of setting they always think it would be funny to uh, see me fail basically at uh, it myself. So. They just gave me some gloves. I'm gonna apparently work a little bit here at Jaffer Arrow. Yes, keep going. Okay. Oh. <laughs> How much do I pull? Farther? Do I get you? Do you take it? Take it. Okay. Oh yeah. You can feel the strength building in the resistance. Oh, I think I screwed that up. How long has he been doing this? Remember? It's like 30 years. 30 years doing this. Wow. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sweating. There's no guidebook on how to make this. It's all about experience. 30 years he's been doing this. It's really like art. So it's kind of cooled down now. We've got one that's the plain sugar on the bottom, and then this is the lemon on the top. And they're going to mix them together here. Lemon flavor in the middle and then just plain on the outside. Look at that. That is beautiful. Starting to look like some kind of a Christmas present or something. They're wrapping it up with that lemon flavor candy. Oh wow. Oh wow, look at this stuff. So, it's starting to spiral around. Really unique. So he just cut me a little piece of the candy. You can see this is the final product, but it's still soft because it's hot still. So he told me to suck on it because it's too hot. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That's awesome. Lemon flavor, nice and sour. It's starting to get harder in my mouth because it's cooling it down. Am I trying to thin it out? You can really feel them starting to harden. I'm still chewing on this candy. <laughs> How am I doing? Okay. Very well. Yeah, you are a little here. All right. What time tomorrow? They're really starting to harden up now, like candy canes. I think if I hit this on the ground, oh no, it's actually still a little bit. Uh, Bendable. I thought it was gonna crack because it's starting to feel like glassy on the outside. And look at all these over here. Wow. So cool. It's really satisfying to play with this stuff. I honestly would work here. One more wow. That is skill. Super fast.
So now that they've cooled down enough, he can chop them into small pieces and just look at the speed. This is seriously the most satisfying thing to watch candy making here in Turkey. And that's the final product, the lemon flavor anyway. All right. Thank you. So this is the final uh, product. You can see a little M there for Martin or Mustafa, the <laughs> boss here. So this is nice and cool down now. Yeah. Now you can't chew it at all because it's nice and hard. So that's it for Jeffer Arrow Factory. Such a cool place. Really friendly people and delicious candy. I'm still sucking on one now. We're gonna go check out their shop here in Katakoy, Istanbul. Show you guys all the different things that you can uh, buy for yourself on Buy in Turkey. I've come to Kadakoy on the Asian side of Istanbul and this is where you can find Jafar Errol's main branch. There's many stores around uh, Istanbul but this is their main shop right in the heart of Kadakoy. Thank you so much. So we've made it to Jaffer Errol and uh, I've only been in the shop for one minute and I've already got some more locum. So this one is uh, with cranberry and the shop is just packed full of all the different things that uh, Jaffer Errol is famous for. Let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. Now this one isn't as fresh as the other so it's got more of a chewy texture. Some nuts in there really really good actually check this out over here so these are all the different types of marzipan which is like a almond paste and it's shaped with you know all these different fruits and then over here we've got these huge jugs full of all those hard candies that we just watched him make so there's the lemon one right there this is like a Willy Wonka factory here Candyland. Mm. Oh. All right, another sweet. I am starting to be uh, sugar high. This is their almond cookie. They strongly recommended it. Mm. Whoa. There must be some mastic in there. It's really chewy and gummy. It's a little bit like toffee like. All right, guys, that is just a sneak peek of some of the things you can buy on buyinturkey.com. Uh, Jaffer Errol is a really famous brand, as I mentioned. Since we're here in Katakoy, we're going to take you for a little bit of a street food tour because I've had too many sweets. I need something salty, so let's go get some real food. So this is uh, midye dolma, it's stuffed mussels. You can see they're stuffed with rice. So there's just like spiced rice on the inside, mussel on the outside, squeezes a little bit of lemon, served right on the streets here. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that's juicy. Really juicy, really fresh. And that rice, spiced up nicely. Put it right here, okay. Yum, that's the original flavor, but they also have spicy ones. Let's try a spicy one. Thank you. So this is the spicy version. Oh man. Oh, oh that's wonderful. And the rice is spiced up nicely. A little bit of heat there. Oh man. So fresh and good. You just stand here and eat. It kind of reminds me of Pani Puri in India. You just stand and they keep serving you until you're done. You know, spicy. Spicy? Okay, okay. Thank you. Oh, this one is super stuffed. Look at that. A bunch of rice in there. Perfect one bite. Midye Dolma are always one of my favorite little street snacks, especially here in Katakoy. They're so fresh. And I want something a little bit more filling though. That was just an appetizer. So I'm going to get some manti or Turkish dumplings. This shop is called Sila Manti here in Katakoy. They have been around since 1969. I ordered up a big plate of the manti. So some people like to call it Turkish ravioli or Turkish dumplings. And then you can see it's covered in 
a yogurt sauce with a little bit of a nice looking chili oil. Um, wow, there's a ton of those dumplings. And I also ordered a side of pickles, pickled beets, cucumbers, and chilies there. And this is just one of my favorite comfort foods here in Turkey, manti. Let's try these guys out. so comforting. Those little dumplings just burst in your mouth with a little piece of meat in there. There's not much to them, but the texture of the wrapper is awesome. And yogurt sauce on dumplings might sound a little bit odd, especially if you're used to Asian dumplings, but let me tell you, it works. And the yogurt is served warm, and it's got a little bit of a heat from that uh, chili oil on top too. It just goes really well with the dumplings. I know it is a little bit of a strange combination, yogurt with dumplings, but uh, I think it works really well. Pickled chili, chase it with one of these guys. Oh. Turkish food never gets old for me. It's so good. Wow, guys. Those were some great manti to end my day here in Istanbul. I want to say a huge thank you to Buy in Turkey for uh, bringing me here to Istanbul. And I'm super excited uh, for this collaboration because for the first time, you can actually taste the foods you saw me tasting here in the videos uh, on buyinturkey.com. So definitely check it out and you can taste all of the amazing things I tried today in Istanbul. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you hadn't already and hit the bell icon so you're notified. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Joe. Bye.